Hey, this is just a quick video to show how to use source tree. So, pretty much I've already made some changes to my program. As you can see here, um, I'm not sure if you can see my mouse, but over here are all the pro all the um, all the changes that I've made. Now, usually I would make smaller changes, but I'm refactoring code at the moment. And I had to do a lot. But yeah, as you can see, anything that was removed is uh, highlighted in red, and anything that I've added is highlighted in green. That makes sense. So pretty much, I'm going to go through each one, and I'm going to commit the changes for each one and uh, I'm trying to do it in a logical way or do it in um, sections so that if I look back on it it's a bit easier to see what I was doing all right so here we've got this one so I won't do that I'll add this one I'll say added. So now I'm writing a commit message. Added. Um, priority constants. Ah, sorry. First, I have the stage in. So stage selected. And then now it's staged. So this is ready to be committed. As you can see here, the commit button has been enabled. So I'll click that. Cool. And now I can do the next thing, which I'll probably do EPROM map. So I'll go through and check the changes, see what I did. So I added a couple of constants here. So I'll just say add a stage first. Added some constants. Added some constants. Now I'll go into a bit more detail. Added address for turn. Uh, added, no, I didn't add. And I added a comment for that. So I added comment for a from address cpct cptc. Then added. Positions bit for points and add new from mask for points. Now this doesn't really make sense the order I'm doing it, but this will have to do. stage all right so I've added oh, I shall pair this with here because in order to change the uh, function definitions here much I can't see it here I've removed Huh. Well, that's a big one. That's why it's got the ellipsis. That's all right. Yeah, so in order to create the function definitions, I needed the function declarations, which is in my header file. So I'll 
they go together pretty well. So we'll say added. Actually, not added. Uh, modified function declarations definitions to use new types. New types include CP ID T and This one, so add it, color default, mm, color default. No, I didn't do that. I added a comment and turn, oh, swap stage. Add turn. Added. And then finally this one. So what have I done here? I've replaced CP data get output mode with zero. The reason why I did that was because I had removed that method from uh, from the uh, CP data uh, from my call point uh, class. So because I've removed it, I can't use that function anymore, so I replace it with a zero. Um, so replaced, 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 instances of get, uh, get output mode and set so it doesn't affect anything else. So I'll uh, commit that. And now, there we go. No more, no more to commit. If I go to my log history, you'll be able to see all the commits I've made, and it's quite chunky actually. So they go from here to here. So there's, it says that I've got 21 commits in this, uh, from uh, the previous, I guess, push to my latest um, commit. Um, yeah, I'll probably, I don't know if I'll squish them. So to squish them means you join to, um, you join two uh, commits together. You squish them down into a single commit. Um, and sometimes that can make it easier if you're reviewing all your commits. You don't want to look through 21 of them. You just want to look through some like keystones or milestones that you uh, that um, are milestones of commits that you went through. So that just say you were you made a whole bunch of changes to a single source file like a like a .c file um, and they all had the same theme I guess but um, but you had multiple steps so you could link you could squish all those commits down to a single one where you edited that um, .c file yeah I hope that helped a bit um, and I can make some more of these videos for you in the future <laughs>